now we come to the next chapter, in which the first snowfall had covered the 100-acre wood and in which Tigger learns that even bouncing can be overdone. On this day, Rue was waiting for Tigger to take him out to play. Mama, when is Tigger going to get here? <laughs> be patient, dear. He'll be... Whee! Well, <laughs> here I am. Did I surprise you, Rue? You sure did. I like surprises. Hello, Mrs. Kanga, ma'am. <laughs> Why, hello, Tigger, dear. <laughs> she called me dear. <laughs> Rue, are you ready for some bouncing? Yeah, you and me are good bouncers. <laughs> Just a moment, dear. Hold still. Goodness, you're bouncy today. That's what rules to the bestest. <laughs> now keep your scarf on. Not so tight, Mama. Is your sweater warm enough? Yes, Mother. Oh, well, uh, come on, Rue. Uh, let's go. Tigger, have Rue home in time for his nap. And be careful. Don't worry, Mrs. Kanga. I'll take care of the little nipper. <laughs> so off they went on their bouncing adventure. On their way, they came to a beautiful little frozen lake in front of Rabbit's house. And who was happily ice skating there? None other than Rabbit. Ah, what a perfect day. Peace and quiet. And thank goodness, no, Tigger. Hey, look, look, look. <laughs> if it isn't no long ears. Can Tigger ice skate? As fancy as Mr. Rabbit? Can Tigger ice skate? <laughs> Why, that's what Tiggers do the best. <laughs> Whee! Hey, this is a cinch. Whee! Who am I? Oh, no. Oh, oh, hey, not here. Oh, oh, look out. Uh oh, I can't. Oh, oh, watch oh, out. can't be. Oh, oh, no. Go away. Go away. Look out. Oh, go can't. away. No. Oh, 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 oh. Well, it was another Tigger disaster for Rabbit. Tigger and Roo knocked Rabbit down, and the three of them slipped and skidded across the ice right into Rabbit's front door and into his kitchen, where the pots and pans all came raining down around Rabbit's head. Oh, why does it always have to be me? Why, oh, why, oh, why? Tigger, Tigger, are you all right? <coughs> yeah! Tiggers don't like ice skating. So Tigger and Roo went farther into the Hundred Acre Wood, looking for something that Tiggers do best. I bet you could climb trees, huh, Tigger? <laughs> climb trees? <laughs> That's what Tiggers do best. Only Tiggers don't climb trees, they bounce them. Come on, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> I almost bounced clear out of the book. <laughs> Some bouncing, huh? In fact, Tigger and Roo had bounced clear up to the top of a tall tree, and Roo was swinging from Tigger's tail. <laughs> Say, how did this tree get so high? Hey, 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 what's happening now? Don't swing on a string, it's much too frail. The best kind of swing is a tinker's tail. Whee! <laughs> stop that tent, please! S-T-O-P, stop! You're rocking the forest! What's the matter, Tigger? Phew! Oh, thank goodness. I was just getting seasick from seeing too much. Well, we'll just have to leave Tigger up in the treetop for a little while. Because, at the bottom of the next page, Pooh is having a problem of his own. What are you doing, Pooh? Shh! Tracking something. Tracking what? Oh, well, that's what I asked myself, Piglet. What? And what do you think you'll answer yourself? Oh, I shall have to wait until I catch up with it. Pooh, for a bear of very little brain, you sure are a smart one. Thank you, Piglet. Uh -huh. Ha! Oh! Now, what? A very mysterious thing, Piglet. 
a whole new set of tracks, see? And so it seemed to be. There were the tracks joining each other here, getting mixed up with each other there. But to prove, quite plainly, four sets of paw marks. Piglet, whatever it was that made these tracks, has now been joined by a whatever it is. Yes, and, and all of them are proceeding in company. Piglet, I wasn't exactly expecting company. Neither was I, Pooh. So they went on, feeling a little anxious now, in case the animals in front of them were of hostile intent. Hello! Look, look, Piglet. There's something in that tree over there. Is it one of the... the, the these are animals? Yes. It's a jaguar. What did jaguars do, Pooh? Well, jaguars always call, Hello! And when you look up, they drop on you. I'm looking down, Pooh. Hello! Hey, Tigger, it's Pooh and Piglet. Pooh! Piglet! Why? It's only Tigger and Roo. Come on. Oh, Roo! Hey, what are you and Tigger doing up there? I'm all right, <laughs> but Tigger's stuck. <laughs> Uh, help somebody, please! Uh, get Christopher Robin! Well, it wasn't too long before word got back to Christopher Robin and the others that Tigger was in trouble. Hello, Pooh. Hello, Piglet. What's up? Tigger and Roo are up. Oh, my goodness. Roo, how did you get way up there? Easy, Mama. We bounced up. Oh, gracious. Do be careful, dear. I'm all right, Mama, but Tigger's stuck. <laughs> oh, what a shame. That's too bad. No, that's good. You see, he can't bounce anybody up there. Oh, dear. We'll just have to get him down somehow. Down? Down? Do we have to? Come on, everyone. Let's hold the corner of my coat. You're first, Roo. Jump. Try not to fall too fast, dear. Whee! Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> Gee, that was fun. Come on, Tigger. It doesn't hurt. Jump. You're next, Tigger. Jump. <laughs> jump? <laughs> Tiggers don't jump. They bounce. Then bounce down. Uh, don't be ridiculous. Tiggers only bounce up. You can climb down, Tigger. No, but Tiggers can't climb down uh, uh, because uh, oh, oh, their tail's getting away. Hooray! That settles it. If he won't jump and he can't climb down, then we'll just have to leave him up there forever. Forever? Oh, 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 if I ever get out of this, I promise never to bounce again. Never. I heard that, Tigger. He promised. Did you hear him promise? I heard him. I heard him. You heard him, didn't you? Didn't you? Well, Tigger, your bouncing really got you into trouble this time. Hey, who are you? I'm the narrator. Oh, well, please, for goodness sakes, narrate me down from here. Very well. Hold on tight. You can let go now, Tigger. <laughs> Never. So I tilted the page of the book and Tigger was able to step down from the tree. Believe me, he was mighty glad to be down. Oh, good old terra firma. Hey, I'm so happy, I feel like bouncing. Ah, you promised, you promised. Oh, oh I did, didn't I? Uh, uh, you mean, I, I can't ever bounce again? Never. Never? No, not even just... One teensy weensy bounce? Not even a smidgen of a bounce. When Tigger finally realized what a blow to him no bouncing would be, he turned and walked away from his friends. His tail was between his legs and he was certainly a mournful figure. Oh, the poor dear. Oh, that's too bad. Christopher Robin. 
I like the old bouncy tigger best. So do I, Lou. I do, too. Me, too. Of course, we all do. Don't you agree, Rabbit? I, uh... Well, Rabbit? Well, uh... I, uh... That is, uh... Uh... What I mean... Well... Oh, all right. I guess I like the old ticket better, too. <laughs> oh, 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 you mean I can have my bounce back? <laughs> so in the end, while it seemed the same, it really wasn't. So Christopher Robin and Pooh and all his friends had learned a little something from Rabbit's plot to lose Tigger and Tigger's plight in the treetop. And all were the better for it. Goodbye now. Thank you.